Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. And did Kathleen Kennedy's um, Soy Wars just turn uh, Kenobi bisexual? Not really. No. <laughs> anyway, before I start, okay, uh, Grand Bazaar getting to people. I don't know if uh, international, still not yet. I think it's still uh, domestic. I love this. Uh, it's not a collage, it's the actual books, but I gotta tell you, I've said this before. I always get happy seeing my own books. I remember everything we went through. It's it's just nothing but victories to me. I absolutely love it. I notice something new every time. This uh, cover here uh, it looks totally different from every angle. It was a it was a dream. Everyone told me it was the wrong idea, and it's it's fucking awesome. So people are sending uh, pictures with their uh, guns, as is a tradition. I really like this uh, revolver right here. Nice. And uh, this one was so sad. This guy has this old school Game Boy. And look! And he just noticed that. He's like, I powered it on. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> one, of the, one of the columns is dead. That thing's probably from like 1990. Uh, so, um, I forget what the point was here. Somebody was just showing, like, the... I like this one. This is, like, second-person cat POV. I've never seen a photo taken from this vantage point before. So, uh, there's a new, uh, video game called Stray, and, uh, I saw some people making fun of it, and then I watched some of the gameplay, and it's like, um, uh... I, I would play this game. <laughs> I don't know what the point is. I think there's some sci-fi angle, but it's just like, you just walk around and you're a cat? You're like, yeah, like, yeah, okay, why not? I like how that can scooch under things. Uh, but anyway, before I start, Jawbreakers Forever, completely drawn. We're just about to start uh, doing the flats on this. Iron Sights 3, completely drawn. Um, uh, Renzo has... I think five pages left, and then both books will be completely drawn. So uh, this came out uh, a few hours ago. I think the news story broke yesterday. I didn't notice a ton of videos about it. I think at some point, everyone is mutually, everyone's mutually exhausted. Everyone's chosen their side a few years ago. Oh, how. Why don't you want there to be gay people? Oh, they're not to put you. Okay, so it's a freaking YA novel. Um, that uh, it's I know a couple years ago. What's that cringy guy? He was like the wibble and wobbling, and and everyone's like, oh, is that's really bad writing? And it almost feels like bad writing <laughs> is like the style of the Star Wars novels, like. Uh, some of the other articles about this, they showed several pages, and it's basically completely unintelligible. Um, uh, Kenobi, when he was a pod Padawan, had a conversation that is vaguely gay-adjacent, possibly bisexual, more likely asexual, 100% bad writing. Who the fuck reads this stuff? <laughs> like, nobody reads this stuff. Um, one of the things I kept thinking about is... There's this phrase called the not gays. And I don't know if Mike Staclasa made it up. He's the first person I... Uh, him and uh, Jay and... But I feel like this is something that's been going around since like uh, Joe Bob Briggs. It's just like one of those things, especially if you're reviewing movies, you know, before, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago. There had to be a scene in like every action movie. And usually a character as well. It usually it, it it was always easy to make it a nurse, you know. Oh, you're in a you're a war zone, but this nurse needs to be escorted from this base to that base. That's why she's around. Okay, fine. There's a nurse, even though there we, there wouldn't be a female nurse out on a patrol. Uh, there's an okay, fine. And no matter how dire the situation is, if you're you know got you know nitroglycerin bottles, there needs to be a woman there. So you know that everyone's not gay. <laughs> and it was, it was very much of its time. When you watch movies from the time when they had these awkward scenes and these awkward lines. I, I swear, you could have like, 
you know, some 1990s movie where everyone's trapped in a cave and, you know, they got like one lighter and they're like, oh, you know, we only got one more little burst of flame in this lighter. What are we going to use it for? It's going to be used so like the hero can kiss the girl. Like it's, ah, he's, yeah, he's not gay. It was really important. Okay, two things were important. I didn't want anyone to asphyxiate and die, and then, uh, but mostly, they needed to not be gay. And when you watch those things, like, I don't know, sometimes it was really obvious back in the day. Like I said, sometimes you can organically have a woman in a story, but when it's a story about, like, you know, that's like a very military thing, or it's like something out in space, you're like, how did, how, how, how did you get the woman here? Oh, she was... She was, uh, she was putting the freaking, you know, MREs on the flight, and then since she's a dame, she stood up too fast, you know, their brains don't work so good, and she passed out, and then the rocket launched, and now she's up here, and we gotta take care of her. Um, but, uh, you just got used to it, and I feel like stuff like this is just gonna be looked upon in the future as, oh, it was, it, it was like this earlier, you know, early 21st century thing, it was called the Not Straits. You had to establish that any character, no matter how straight they seemed or they were, that they weren't straight. They were most likely bisexual, asexual, transitioning, something. They can't be straight. No, that's not, that's not a thing. So, um, I know one years ago, definitely two, oh my god, three, this would have been a huge hue and cry and everyone, and it feels like everyone's just like, yeah, this is okay, well, whatever. Yeah, Kenobi's gay because in a YA novel that nobody read, a character that just got created talked about kissing and Kenobi said he's not going to kiss men or women. It's like, ah, wow, how prog oh, Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. It's just, they, they just turned, they turned the not gays into the not straights. It's, it's just uh, like a weird cultural thing. You know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, all of the advantage was to be straight, and there was huge social pressure to be straight, and now it's flipped. The, the advantage is to be gay, and there is hu a huge social pressure to be vaguely queer-adjacent gay sexual. But it, nobody thinks Teeny Howard is gay. Nobody thinks Al Ewing is gay. I, I love whenever they, like... Uh, they changed some mutant to be gay, and they're like, uh, well, 20, you know, 20 years ago, uh, Chris Claremont had this scene. Yeah, he, he did that scene with everyone. That, that was his thing. That was his thing to write that scene. Well, 10 years ago, you know, uh, somebody went to a convention, and they said, uh, what was the deal? And he's like, oh, I intended to make that character gay. That's his story for every character. It's like when they go to the actors, you know, they put them on the spot at a junket. They're like, you know, uh, there's been a fan theory that Peter Parker is actually bisexual. How would you feel about uh, playing a bisexual Peter Parker? What do they always say? They always say they're fine with it because, number one, they're actors. They're just happy to have any job. Number two, they're savvy enough to say, you can't say any character is not gay. You can say they're not straight, but you can't say they're not gay. Every character that exists right now is asterisk possibly bisexual. Most likely they are bisexual. Because everyone is bisexual. Just ask the writers at Marvel. <laughs> this is just going to be one of those weird things. You know, in 40 years, you know, you're going to be old. It's like, let's watch... Hey, hey, Grandpa, let's watch one of the movies from when you were young. It's like... Pass. <laughs> and then they're, they're, they're going to insist. They're like, Grandpa was... um. Was everyone gay when... No, they, they were just pretending to be gay. Why? Oh, because it was an advantage? That's actually kind of offensive. So you weren't gay when it was neutral or it was a problem, but when it was an advantage, every, all of a sudden everyone was gay. Just everyone. Did, did the human genome mutate or... No, you were just lying? Oh, that's actually... That's actually pretty sad. So anyway, that's all I gotta say. Jawbreakers uh, forever. Iron Sights three. Uh, I, I, as always, I love send, uh, sending. I love seeing 
the pictures of people getting uh, Grand Bazaar and, and hearing your uh, takes. Uh, it is getting the best reviews of all of the Jawbreakers books, which is great because it's the latest Jawbreakers book. That's that's how it should be. You know, you don't want people to say, oh, you know, your first one, that was the best one. The second one was... The, like, hearing that you, the latest one is the best one, I'm doing that... Uh, that, that thing that actors do where they put their hand to their heart and they do that little nod like it's but it's sincere like it's it's very nice so uh, I didn't turn off the AC and it's still hot in here thanks for watching